this is Catherine. I'm Needleberry Stitcher and I'm back with another video. This time I was hoping to do a sort of a whip parade. It's a small whip parade. It's not all of my designs that I have because I have 76 whips and I think it would be too much to do all in one video. So I'm going to split it out and in this video I'm going to focus on my Heaven and Earth designs and other full coverage pieces and then in future videos I'll do another whip parade of my Dimensions Gold Collection kits and probably another video of my Mirabilia's and other fancy ladies and then anything else. I have some whips that are from leaflets and just standalone charts or books and I'll probably do that in a separate video as well. So I'll get started. This is my whip parade of all my full coverage pieces and this one I showed in my last video it's my current whip that I'm working on, and my plan is to complete it in 2022. And I'm 36% complete on it. This is Beauty and the Beast 2017, which is a tilt and craft design. The artist is Daniel Kordak, and I'm stitching this one on 25 count even weave. Actually, it's 25 count Lugana, and I'm stitching it one over one full cross. So I have the top row of pages are done. That's uh, five full pages, and then I have two pages done on the second row here. My next piece is called a Van Gogh Knight, and this is a design from Heaven and Earth Designs, and the artist is Randall Spangler. He's one of my favorites. I'm, I have several of his patterns and hope to do as many as possible of them because I find that when they're stitched up they have so much detail and they, they're just beautiful. I love working on this one. And this one I started in November of 2021. Um, Kaylee Crossstitch was doing a sal called uh, Van Gogh Vember on Instagram and on Flosstube. And I decided to start this one with her. So again, it's called a Van Gogh Night. And I'm stitching it on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. And I don't think I mentioned this on... My Beauty and the Beast, but I started that one on January 14th, 2021. Um, so I just reached my one year since on January 14th was one year since I started that one. I started this one in the middle, which is different from where I usually start. I usually start up in the top left corner and work pages that way. Um, with this one, I wanted to start in the middle because a lot of the background in the whole piece is like this. It's just very, very confetti heavy. And I really wanted to be able to see the cute little cat and see that detail come to life rather than stitching on background. Because with most of my pieces, when I start in the top left corner, I'm just doing background. And it can get kind of tiring after a while. You get bored quickly working on background. This next piece is another Heaven and Earth Designs and it's called Ex Machina, and this is artwork by Chris Ortega, and it's the supersized Max Colors version of the chart, and I've only gotten just this first start of the first page done. I haven't gotten very far, but this up here in this corner has so much detail in it with um, the clock. This detail up here, is, it's the clock face on the picture, and it's so beautiful. I love the colors and I love the clock. In fact, if I only ever got the clock done, I would be fine with that. I would just finish it and frame it. So this one is also done on 25 count Lugana and the color of this fabric is called Bone. And I like the color with this one because of the darker colors and the browns of the floss that I'm working with on this design. It seems like the fabric being a little bit more of a darker color and not just white, I think makes it better if, you know, so just so that the fabric doesn't show through if the stitches are not fully covering the squares. Uh, but with doing it one over one full cross, I'm not really seeing any issue with um, any of the fabric showing through. And 25 count is my absolute favorite to stitch on full coverage. I started this one in 2021, but I don't remember exactly what month I started it. I think probably in the summertime but I didn't write down when I started it, so I'm not quite sure. But it was definitely in 2021 that I started it. This next piece is an art 
project that my daughter completed when she was in high school. And it was one of my absolute favorite um, of her art pieces that she has done. And for my birthday last year in 2021, she had it made into, um, she went to pick to pat and she uploaded her artwork and she had it made it into a cross stitch pattern for me. So, cause I had always said ever since she created this piece that I would love to cross stitch that piece someday. So she remembered and that was a while ago and she actually remembered that I had said that. And so she made a pattern for me. And so I got to start on it um, on my birthday. And this is how much I have done so far. I stopped, I started in the top left corner like I usually do. This one I started doing a diagonal parking. Um, I thought it might be easier because it's on 28 count even weave. And I usually work on the 25 count and I thought 28 count might be a little bit harder. Uh, my eyes are not as good as they used to be, but um, so far it's, it's pretty, pretty good. I use mag eyes and for magnification and so I haven't had any problem working on 28 count and I probably could work on um, 32 or 36 or 40 count with the mag eyes and not have any problems so if any of you have had any issues with trying to see the fabric when the, the count of the fabric is really really small I highly recommend mag eyes I think they're available on Amazon for I think they're only $20 um, but they've been a lifesaver for me I've been able to do a lot more detailed stitching um, because I was getting to a point where my eyes were not as good and I was starting to work more on larger count Ada's like 16 count Ada or 18 count Ada but I really like working on the 25 count so the mag eyes did the trick. This next piece is another tilt and crafts pattern and this is Merida which is a design the artwork is by Daniel Kordek. And this one I'm stitching on 18 count, two threads over one square. And I th think I don't really like that. Um, I've done, I, I don't mind 18 count for a lot of projects, especially with Dimensions Gold collection kits or, um, I mean, there's, there's definitely other projects that I like working the 18 count, but for this one, because it's full coverage, I'm finding it bulky and I don't know maybe it's just me and the way that I stitch but I'm finding it hard to work on because it just the the fabric threads are really close together and I'm finding that it's just hard to get my needle through the hole if I already have threads in the hole so um, but I do plan to keep on working it and I started this one I think it was 2019 that I started it and I only got the first page done in the top left corner and then I started working on the second page. And if you hear shaking in the background like tags and stuff that's my dog. My dog is making noise in the background. He's shaking himself and scratching himself and his dog tags are making noise so. This next piece is another heaven and earth design. It's called Becoming Brave. Artwork is by Terry Rosario and this one I started about four years ago, in fact, or it might even have been five years ago, I saw a, a YouTube, um, a floss tube channel, and I can't remember the lady's name, but she had stitched this and she finished it. And as soon as I saw the completed piece, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to have that one. Um, which I say about a lot of pieces because every time I watch floss tube, I get enabled and I want all the heaven and earth designs. Um, and I. I'm guessing there's a lot of you that feel the same way. As soon as I see one finished, I'm like, oh no, I need to do that one too. But anyway, I started this one and this is as far as I got. It's on 28 count even weave. And I'm pretty sure that I stopped working on it because I was having difficulty seeing the holes. And it was before I got my mag eyes. So I ended up putting it down, but I do plan to pull it back out again. I think this would be a really fun one to work on again. Um, I think the piece is really pretty. I like the the design. I like Native American designs and and this is this is definitely one that I would love to see finished in, on my wall. This next piece is another heaven and earth design pattern. It's called Lullaby Dragon. And the artwork is by Vincent Fleming. He's fairly new to um, the Heaven and Earth Design website. He's actually an artist that lives um, not far from me. He lives um, 
in Illinois and he travels to different art shows in in the area that I live and every year I used to see his artwork there and there was one time that I after the art show I emailed him and said have you ever considered converting your patterns into cross stitch and he said he wasn't really sure how he would do that so I told him about heaven and earth designs and I and I gave him the contact information and he replied back and he said thank you very much and you know that was it so about six months later he sent me another email and he said I wanted to thank you for giving me the contact information for heaven and earth designs I've just recently given her some of my artwork and she's going to convert them into patterns so I was so excited because I love his artwork I've always admired it and um, so now he has I think eight pieces out there I think there's eight or twelve um, of his designs are out on the Heaven and Earth Designs website and at the time that I got this particular pattern there were only four available and so I bought I think I got two of the four patterns and this is the one that I started first um, and I didn't get very far on it unfortunately after I started working on it I picked one color and I was going to do the color cross country the I guess the what do you call it extreme cross country I was going to do that and just pick the one color and go through the whole design um, just with the one color and then move on to the next color um, but I got this far and then I got an email from heaven and earth designs that said here's your new pattern apparently the pattern I started with had that issue with 08 and 09 those two colors where some of the charts were coming with they were they were being created with those colors and they didn't really look right in the pattern but so I have a new pattern but I haven't gone back to check and see if what the differences are or if I stitched any part of this because I did come up here in the top corner and start doing my normal you know where I come up and do a start and work the page from the top left and work my way across so I've gotten this this far in the top corner and I don't know if any of those colors were 08 or 09 or even if they weren't did any other aspects of the chart get changed you know when when it was being rendered in the software so I put it down and hopefully I'll get back to it again because I really liked working on this one but this one's on 25 count Lugana and I'm stitching it full cross one over one and I started it I do believe it was four years ago that I started this one possibly three years ago I didn't write anything down I'm I'm really bad about writing down when I start things um, I'll, I'm trying to be better about that going forward. I started a journal this year where I can keep track of my progress. This next piece is another Heaven and Earth design and it's called Mini Home is Where the Magic Is. It's artwork by Randall Spangler. And I'm stitching this one on 28 count even weave, one over one full cross. I saw crafty crafting gaming Jamie, sorry if I said that wrong, Crafty Gaming Jamie, her channel, she was stitching this one and she was um, doing extreme cross country on it. And so I started doing that and then decided that on 28 count, it was a little bit too small, the stitches and I was having trouble seeing it again. So after I got my mag eyes, I decided that I would stop, start up in the top left corner and work my way across filling in all of the gaps for some of the stitching that that I hadn't gotten to so and then I also came here and worked a little bit down this one side I was experimenting with different styles of stitching to see what I really like to do best and I still think that I like working in the top left corner doing one page at a time but this is another one when I get a finish from my current whips that I'm working on I'd like to pull this one back out and continue working on it I think it's another one that would be a good candidate to finish this year. The next piece is another Heaven and Earth design and it's called The Toy Box and it's artwork by Donna Gelsinger. And this one's being stitched on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. This one I started, it was another one that I was enabled by Crafty Gaming Jamie. I saw her work on this and she finished hers and when I saw it I was just stunned by how beautiful it was. 
So I started it. It was probably about three years ago or two years ago. I didn't write it down when I started it. But with this one, I started it in the middle, part in the threads. I do parking sometimes on my projects and sometimes I get tired of parking. So I take time and I go and I stitch in all the, the parked threads. And then later on in the design, I start parking again. So it's just whatever I feel like in the moment, I guess, is how I stitch it. But anyway, I do have some part threads. But I started this one in the middle, and I worked on the doll's face. And I started doing where I was going to finish that page. But then I got antsy because I like, I really, really like working up in the top left corner. So I counted my way up, and then I recounted, and then I counted again and again. I think I counted five times to make sure that when I counted up to the top that I didn't miscount. So I made my way up to the top and I don't know if you can tell, but there is some Krynek in this for the snow. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but I think that's one of the things I love so much about this design is that it does have the white Krynek in it and it looks like the snow is glistening. So I pull this one out in the winter. I've pulled it out a couple of times um, the last couple of winters and worked a little bit on it. And I'll get back to it because I do plan to finish all my starts. If only I had two or three more lifetimes, I could finish everything that I love. But the ones that I've started, I definitely want to try and complete. And I'm trying not to have any new starts in 2022. My next piece is a design that I got off of Etsy and it's called World of Disney. But I'm not, I don't think there's a copyright issue with this, but I don't know, but I got it before I was really aware of the copy, you know, that someone might, I naively thought someone, no one would ever put, you know, copyrighted works out here because they shouldn't do that. But anyway, I do still plan to work on it. I know that there's another YouTuber who's currently working on it and she has a ton of progress on it. It's equivalent of a heaven and earth design super size it's 999 across and 700 and something stitches down and this is a lifetime project i love disney but i'm just i'm not sure if i'll get back to this one or not it's really really big and it's not that i mind i love the super size i love big projects but just i'm, I'm just not sure if this is a copyrighted artwork that has been converted into a pattern so I need to do some research but it is really pretty and I enjoyed working on it because I love Disney it's stitched on 25 count Lugana one over one full cross the next one is another heaven and earth designs website it's called Comanche and it's artwork by Jack Sorensen this was my new year new start with Joss Holm, who's another floss tuber. We have a hashtag on Instagram that's called, uh, it's hashtag Comanche Sal. And if anyone wants to join in with us, that would be really fun. Um, just go post your progress and use that hashtag. And we're not really doing it as a sal where we have a certain amount we need to stitch at any particular time. It's just something that we're just doing together just for fun. And so I started this one for my new year new start on December 31st. I started it on the 31st um, so I could bring in the new year working on a new start. And this is as far as I got on it. So this is the first page in the top left corner. All I have to do is come down these columns here and then I'll have a page finish. So I worked on it on New Year's Eve and then I worked on it for a couple weeks in January. This one's being stitched on 25 count Lugana, one over one, full cross. This one's from Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's called Afternoon Tea. Artwork is by Randall Spangler. And this one I started, I think this was my second Heaven and Earth Design that I ever started, because I found Randall Spangler on Heaven and Earth Designs. That was the first artist that I found, and... I got some of his patterns and the first one I started, I don't think I've shown the one that I first started yet, but this was my second one that I started. And I didn't get very far because I started it on 28 count, even weave, one over one full cross, and 
It was before I had discovered mag eyes and I was having a really hard time seeing the holes, so I stopped working on it. But now that I have mag eyes, I'd love to pull this one out and start working on it again. This is another Vincent Fleming pattern from Heaven and Earth Design. It's called Witch on Broom. This was one that actually just got put on the Heaven and Earth website later last year in 2021. And when I discovered that it was out there along with a whole handful of other patterns, um, it was October, I think, when I found them. And I was looking for something to stitch on that had a Halloween theme. Because I really don't have very much Halloween stitching. I don't think I have anything that's Halloween themed. So I thought it would be fun to work on something in October that's Halloween themed. So I found this one and started it. So that was, I started in um, October 2021. And this is as far as I got. I got the first page done and then I started working on the second page. So I really love the colors in this one. I thought it might be fun to stitch this is one of the ones where I actually thought it would be fun to stitch the outside first, all of the dark blue and the not stitch the moon, and then come in at the very end and stitch the moon and fill it in. I thought that would be really fun. And again, this one's stitched on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. The next one is called Moon Hair. It's from Heaven and Earth Designs. And the artwork is by Suzanne Geisman. I was enabled to start this one um, after I saw Kim Hollenbeck stitching it on her YouTube channel and she finished hers and she gifted it to someone and when I saw the finished piece it the colors are so vibrant and colorful for spring and this one I can easily pick up anytime and stitch on because it's it's just the colors are just so pretty but it was my first time using pre-gridded fabric so that was an adjustment for me. It was something I wasn't used to, but if I work on it again and I can kind of get used to the counting of it, um, I might purchase it again in the future and use it. I think I started this one in 2020. This piece is a design, the, art, the artist of this design is Josephine Wall from Heaven and Earth Design. And the artwork is called Fly Me to the Moon. And this is another one that had such beautiful, vibrant colors that I immediately wanted to start it. At the time, all I had available was 28 count even weave. So I did start it, but I didn't have my mag eyes yet. It's a common theme with all of my 28 count designs. I didn't have my um, mag eyes, so it was hard to see the fabric. It was hard to see my stitching. Um, and it's very, very confetti heavy, which is common with Josephine Wall's work. But once it's done, it looks amazing. I mean, this is the moon in the top left corner and it's so much detail. I can't believe how much detail is in her designs. So this one again is uh, the 28 count even weave, one over one full cross. As you can tell, I love heaven and earth designs. Um, this is another one, another Randall Spangler piece. This is called O Kitten Tree, and it's the very first Heaven and Earth Design chart that I purchased and started. And I saw someone had been working on it um, in a, there was a online gallery of works in progress from Heaven and, Earth, Heaven and Earth Designs. And then that led me to the Randall Spangler website, which had a link to Heaven and Earth Designs. So that's how I found Hade and all of the beautiful patterns. It was from a link on Randall Spangler's website. So I started this one on 18 count and two, two threads over one square and decided that I really don't like the 18 count for full coverage because of the same reasons that I don't like 18 count on any other pieces I've done, but for some reason I thought I would try it again. Um, so I tried it and it wasn't for me, so I stopped and I restarted it, and this time I restarted it on 28 count, even weave, full cross one over one, and that is too small for me, or was at the time. So I put this piece away and thought eventually I'll come back and 
work on it. I'll either pick it up on the 18 count or I'll pick it up on the 28 count and keep working on it. This is another design from the same Etsy store where I bought the World of Disney pattern. And this is a Disney princess pattern. And for the same reasons that I haven't worked on World of Disney, other than the fact that I have way too many full coverage pieces that I want to work on and I can't work on them all at the same time. Um, but this one, I'm not sure if I should keep working on it or not because I don't know whether the artwork was licensed or not. So I'll probably just need to find out a little bit more. But I really loved working on this one because it has, I think about 30% of the stitches are black. And I bought a whole bunch of anchor black floss and I started stitching it. And I thought even if, well, it's 999 wide, so it's like a super size. But even if I only stitched the black and did all of the outline, I think it looks really pretty. It looks like a black work design. So this is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And you can already see the detail. So if I end up continuing to work and just do black, I might unpick the little bit of color that I've done. I only did a little color here and a little bit here, and I might unpick it and just make it a black work piece. But I really liked working on this one. It's really fun. And the anchor black floss does do, in my opinion, it does do a little bit better job with coverage than the DMC. Everybody says that, and they say it because it's true. <laughs> it really is true. But I'll work with the DMC too. It's kind of whatever I have on hand I'm fine with. So this is again on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. And this is my last piece, another heaven and earth design. It's my last full coverage piece. I still have other whips that I'll do in other videos, but, and this is artwork by Scott Gustafson. It's called The Country Mouse and The City Mouse. And I saw a YouTube channel called Kalmari and she stitches all full coverage and she's currently working on um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale Super Size Max Colors and she does live streams. I think she lives in Japan um, but she has done a whole lot of Scott Gustafson's artwork and she has a finished parade where she shows all of her pieces that are done and they're absolutely amazing. So I was enabled from watching her channel where she had this particular piece finished. And this one is just a regular size one. It's 450 by 354. Um, but I finished the first page. I think the first page is right here. And then I started working down a little bit and then I started working over a little bit. But I got a little bit tired of the brown because there's a lot of brown in this picture, but this is one I'd like to pick back up in 2022 and continue working on. I'd probably say that about all of my pieces. I want to work on all of them. But this one in particular, I think would be fun to finish. 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. And I started this one in 2020. So that's it for my full coverage whip parade. I have other projects that I can show in future videos, but this was all of my full coverage pieces that I've started. Um, I don't plan to start any new full coverage pieces in 2022. Um, there's one pattern that I've had my eye on that I might start as a new year new start for 2023. Um, it's the Amy Stewart's um, Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, the Super Size Max Colors. I've seen some people working on that one and it's absolutely beautiful. So. If I can finish a full coverage piece in 2022, then I think I might start Treasure Hunt Bookshelf for my New Year New Start at the end of 2022, going into 2023. But I, I really need to finish some of what I already have before I even think about doing another full size, full coverage piece. But thanks for joining me today and I'm, I hope you enjoyed seeing my full coverage pieces that I'm working on. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Um, if you have any of these projects that you're also currently working on and would like to do a sal with me, a stitch along, um, also leave me a comment. I think that would be really fun. I, I also post pictures of my progress, not regularly, but every week or two, I'll post on Instagram. I'm, I'm at Needleberry Stitcher on Instagram. 
So maybe we can create a tag and do some stitch alongs and get some of our full coverage works done. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.